I'm going to pass in our sketch, uh, but I'm going to use the line art processor. I'm going to use uh, the coarse line art processor. And the reason I'm doing that is because I really want to get like thicker lines and I want to kind of capture uh, the edges of this. I'm going to go ahead and add in a prompt. Uh, we'll add in a negative prompt sketch. We're, we're just going to see what we get. We're going to see if this works for us, right? We're just experimenting right now. Uh, the way to think about this is we're trying to find a general purpose setting that is going to be useful for us. And we're using this as kind of our experimentation ground to kind of get that and test it out. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a miss here on this piece, but I think everything else is actually relatively uh, well captured here. And it gives us a little bit of a... Uh, useful beginning now looking at this it's kind of missing this window on the left hand side we could go in and you know fix that if we wanted to but today's focus is not creating the perfect image it's creating a process that would be a useful place for starting points let's say we like this let's say that this is like demonstrated itself as a good starting point every image that you generate inside of invoke bakes in the workflow that generated that image and it's often a very good place to start when you're trying to create a new workflow is get the foundation set up in the generate tab. And then when you have a good foundation, you can click the load workflow button and we're going to load that up. And what that's going to do is it's going to take everything that we just used to generate and it's going to populate our workflow for us. It's going to give us a good place to start. Um, we are now looking at uh, basically the, the starter workflow here that generated this image. And this is going to be something that we can use to uh, really recreate everything that we just talked about uh, and, and really do a lot with it. I distribute this to my team. They don't have to, to think about like, oh, I need to go in and add an IP adapter. Oh, I don't you know, what, what setting do I use to get that kind of like look and feel for the process we're using it for? You kind of have already pre-configured that for them. Uh, and now you're just kind of like reusing that. Um, uh, in this case though, we'll keep our sketch image. Um, what I'm going to do is maybe, uh, just throw in this kind of like stylistic inspiration image. And I'm just going to say a modern house. I'm not, it, I'm not telling it what to do. I'm showing it using the inspiration image. We took in quite a bit of that. It's got this kind of like uplit type look. Uh, so there's some cool pieces there. Um, the question is, do we think that this is too much inspiration? Do we want to tone it down a bit? You know, we can go in and fine tune and tweak things uh, as we see fit.